In this video, I'm going to use the welding electrodes 7018 and 6013 to observe the difference in weld quality and ease of use, to help you decide on which rod you may want to use in your projects. These are both easy to use rods that don't require too much training on technique. I'll be testing these rods on both DCEP and DCEN to see if there are any noticeable differences. Both of these rods are the same diameter, being 3 over 30 seconds inches, but 7018 uses more shielding flux on the outer coat. That's why it looks bigger in diameter here, with 7018 recommending 80 to 100 amps, but 6013 only recommending 40 to 80. So if power is a limitation for you, like you're only using a, a 110 welder like I'm using, or if you're welding very thin sheet metal that would get a hole blown through it if you used too many amps, then 6013 might be your option you want to go with. And for the sake of consistency, I'll be running both rods at 80 amps, welding a butt joint. Starting with 7018, I had trouble getting the arc started, but once I had it going, the weld was easy to control and had decent penetration through the steel. Sixty thirteen was a bit easier to start the arc, but way more difficult to control the weld. With sixty thirteen, the slag is much harder to remove, and the spatter from the welds was bigger and more difficult to get rid of, but still had good penetration throughout. On the box for 7018, it only said to use this rod with AC or DCEP, but it was surprisingly easy to weld on DCEN, and it was able to penetrate all the way through the steel. 6013 was even harder to control on DCEN. It was melting the rod so quickly that I wasn't even able to finish the plate before I ran out of rod, but it was on par with 7018's ability to penetrate through the steel. And now that I've tried both rods with both polarities, I believe 7018 is the better choice here. It's easier to make a good looking weld with, and it's much easier to clean without the spatter and the hard to get rid of slag. I hope this video gave you the answers you were looking for, and if you still have questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.